Hello and welcome to Vegas Aces q and I'm your host, Heather Ferris, and today's episode is for all of those players out there who wanted to play on a blackjack table, but was too intimidated to walk up to one. Well, in this video, I'll shed some light on what you can expect, so that way you won't be so nervous about playing on a casino table game. Don't worry, the cards won't bite you, although some of the players might, but you don't need to be scared, they probably won't have their teeth in anyway. I found blackjack to be intimidating, and that's why I've never played in the casino. Can you please explain to this newbie what I can expect when I walk up to a casino blackjack table? The first thing you do when you're in a casino is decide what game you want to gamble on. Check out the minimum maximum sign to make sure that the minimum bet is something you can afford. It would sort of suck to realize that your entire night's gambling budget resulted in only four green chips because you're sitting at a $25 minimum table. If there are players already playing at the table, then the polite thing to do would be to ask if anyone would mind if you jumped in, or do they want you to wait until the deck has been shuffled. Only worry about this if you want to be polite or if you're worried about table etiquette. The reason why some players get mad when a new player joins the game is because sometimes this could change the game, making a good shoe turn bad with the addition or subtraction of players. When you're ready to play the game, place the amount of money that you want to spend on the table and the dealer will exchange it for checks. Always place the money on the table because the dealers aren't allowed to take the money directly from the player's hands. There is no physical contact allowed between the dealers and the players. The dealers are not allowed to touch the players and the players should never touch the dealers. When you place the money on the table, make sure it's not anywhere on or near a betting circle. The reason why is because sometimes the dealer will mistake this gesture as you betting the entire amount on one bet. And once that first card is out, the player isn't allowed to change or alter their bet. So if you don't want to bet your entire gambling budget on one hand, then take extra care not to place the cash on top of the betting circle. Some other items that you might want to avoid putting on the table are your phone and your purse. Basically, if you can't drink it, smoke it, or gamble it, then it shouldn't be on the table. The reason why your phone can't be on or near the table is because people regularly use their phones to cheat. The dealer will always tell you to either get off your phone or get off the table. After you've figured out how much money you want to wager, place the bet in the betting circle and start playing. Once the first card has come out, the player is not allowed to touch or alter their bet. That does it for today's show. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below. Is there anything that intimidates you about the game? Is there anything that I can explain that would ease your nerves enough to go out and actually give the game a try? Let me know. Thanks for watching this episode of Vegas Aces Q&A. And thanks especially to our patrons at Patreon. If you want to help us keep making videos like this, then please go to patreon.com slash vegasaces to learn more.